so I wanted to get into my sample panning. Okay, so you know how every time you order something from a company, whether it be Ulta, Sephora, the Tarte website, Too Faced, wherever you're ordering it from, you get tons of those little samples. Or if you're crazy like me and buy a whole bunch of those sample packs and then just kind of put stuff to the side that you don't think you're going to use, I do that all the time. And I've realized that I've accumulated so many samples, like a ridiculous number of samples. Like it's not even funny anymore. So <laughs> right now I'm going to insert a clip of me <laughs> organizing all of my samples from this big giant bin that I had to I organized it into makeup skincare and hair care and makeup could be anything from like a small little sample size lip gloss to um, I don't know like a little bronzer packet to makeup remover anything like that I put into my little sample bin for makeup so I'm going to insert that clip now and I hope you guys enjoy me organizing a ridiculous number of samples. So here we go. Okay guys, this is my bucket of samples. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot. Look how tall that bucket is, I swear to you. It's, this is seriously my hand tall. Oh, and I'm already losing stuff. So anyways. This is what I'm going to be going through. I'm going to separate this all out from makeup, skincare, hair care, and then random. So I don't know if I'm going to have much in the random pile because I feel like all of these items really fall into those categories. So I am going to separate these and <laughs> see where we go from there. I really want to try to uh, get some use out of these next year and I am going to just go through them. So I'm going to put three different buckets up here and get started. So I'm going to have makeup in here. No, I'll do makeup in here, skincare and hair products. So let's do this. So just as I suspected, I have tons of skincare here. So I'm actually gonna dump this in this bag here. Okay, we are getting very full on our hair products, so I'm going to take this one down and put a new one in for hair products. I'm going to also dump this in our bin for skincare. So makeup samples are still doing pretty good. Okay, now our makeup samples are getting pretty full. I'm gonna empty this one into my bag. I'm gonna just put the bag on the side for now so I can put more makeup samples in here. So this is my final little sample collection that I've got here. So this is a lot of samples, like a ridiculous amount of samples. So these are all my hair care samples. These are all my beauty and makeup samples. And also I put primers in here as well. I put moisturizers with my skincare. So any beauty or makeup, Type item went in here 
And then all my skincare lotions, moisturizers, scrubs, oils, um, I just had lotions, deodorant. I got a little sample deodorant. I've got tons of stuff in here. So I'm going to go through all this. And yeah, these are all of my samples. Holy crap, that's a lot. So that was my little organizing of all my stuff. Now I'm going to give you numbers. I have since that organizing, because that was like two weeks ago, I have put more stuff in my sample, bin, sample bins. So I just counted it today. And <laughs> right now I have 27 hair care samples. That does not count the shampoo and conditioner together if they were separate packaging. If they were in like the foil packaging and you like rip them open, those ones I did count together just to make it easier on my life because it's like one item. Then I have 64 skincare items. <laughs> I love my skincare and I'm always, always looking for new skincare for different reasons. I do have combination skin as you guys know and right now in the winter time my skin is so incredibly dry. So, you know, obviously I've been geared more towards the hydrating um, moisturizers, stuff like that. So, I have tons of skincare and I'm really excited to try all of these new items out. Then, you guys are gonna laugh at me. I have, <laughs> I have 73 makeup items. Yep, 73. You guys know that sample size products go bad way faster than full size products do, I hope. So the fact that I have 73 sample items and I know that those Ulta lip glosses, those little mini lip glosses that I have in there are from Christmas last year. So that's already been a year that I've had those. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, apparently. I just love samples. I hoard samples. Like, if I can <laughs> boost my number up by $20 to get three extra samples, I will. I don't know. That's just ordering online. I'm talking crazy talk now. But I do love me some samples, and I know a lot of you guys do too. So I am just overwhelmed with the amount of samples I have in makeup. So I know I have a lot of full-size products that are actually in my makeup collection right now. You guys have been seeing my declutters and seeing what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, but I really want to use up some of these sample sizes of things that I especially don't have because I feel like when I use up these samples, they give me a really good idea is if it's something that I would want to purchase in the future. Also, some of these items are things I've never tried before, and I would love to try some new things just to have different items to recommend to you guys other than my like everyday things that I use all the time. So that was my makeup samples. My last sample category that I did not show you guys on camera when I was sorting is actually like my foil packet samples, like those teeny tiny like one use, um, sorry there was a fuzzy flying in my way. Um, those little teeny tiny samples, like if it's a primer, like you'll get one use out of it. it if it's like a face mask, you might get one or two uses out of it. These, ma these face masks that I've been using in my 12 pans of Christmas, I've gotten four uses out of one of my packs already and I still am not done with it. These are amazing. Anyways, this is why I love samples so much because you get so much product in such a little teeny tiny case and it's like so convenient and portable. Oh, that's what I was also gonna say is that I am a culprit for saying, oh, I'll just keep this for when I travel. Oh, this will be perfect for having on the plane for when I travel. How much do I travel? Really? How much do I travel? I don't. Honestly, my travel amounts are going up north for the weekend, just for the weekend. And up north, I mean like four hours away. I live in Michigan, so, you know, we call it up north. But it's like four hours away not even, and I am going to Daytona Beach in February for over a week, like a week and a half, so I am gonna need some travel items for that, and I've already actually been putting aside things that I know for sure I wanna bring. And then also, I might go to Florida during the summer for like a week, 
but literally other than that I don't ever travel like we just don't have the money and we don't have the financial you know ability to travel right now but I keep setting stuff aside saying, oh, I'm totally going to try this out when I travel. Which, by the way, you really shouldn't try out new products when you're traveling. You should use the products that you know you love and you use and work well and don't break you out and don't drive you crazy and don't smell weird. You know what I mean. Anyways, that was a really long little tiff about that. So, I don't even know if I told you guys how many foil packets I have. So my foil packet samples, I have 33. When adding all those samples up that I just told you, the 27, 64, 73, 33, I have 197 samples to use. My goal, <laughs> if this is going to be a crazy goal for you guys, it's probably going to be a crazy goal for me too. My goal is to use all of those samples. Everything that I have, I really want to give a fair shot and at least try it. If I don't like something after I've tried it and I have more of a sample, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want to use something that I don't like just for the sake of using it. I want to use things that I enjoy using and that give me pleasure and I enjoy, you know, there's enjoyment and happiness in the air when I use the products. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to try to use up 197 samples. I did take out a few things as I was counting the samples of things that I know for sure I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use little samples of the Benefit Professional. I don't like that primer. I tried it again this year. I thought I liked it last year. I tried it again this year. I don't like it. I got rid of a few things in the process of counting them that I knew I wasn't going to use at all. So there's that. <laughs> but... 197 is a hefty total to try to use up, but all of these items are going to go bad. So my plan is to use items and then separate them into three different categories. So my first category is going to be wants to purchase. So if it's something that I got a fair sample size of, I really enjoyed using it, and I want to make a purchase on it, I'm going to put it in my wants to purchase um, category. Then my second category is going to be want to try it again. So this will be all the sample sizes that weren't really like a fair sample size. It wasn't like a real shot at trying the product out. So those are going to be ones that I'm going to want to maybe get another sample size of and try again or look in my mix and see if I have another one so I can try it, you know, continuously and see if I like it. So yeah, my second category is going to be try again. And then my third category is going to be no way, not going to purchase, I don't want that, throw it away, whatever. So these are all going to be the items that I just try and they either do one of a few things. Break me out, make me look weird like foundation samples because I'm not really keen on the liquid foundations, you guys know that. I really like my powder foundations and that's what I gravitate towards. So. I am going to try a bunch of liquid foundations that I have samples of, so bear with me on that. And then I'm going to throw them away if I just think that they're an overpriced item for something that I can get for way cheaper. Um, for instance, if I have a Bobbi Brown mascara and I really like it, but I have my Maybelline mascara, I have my Lash Lux mascara, I have other mascaras that I really really like that don't cost as much and do the same thing, then I'm going to put them in the don't want to purchase um, category. So I hope that I have inspired you guys to look through all of your samples and see some of them you've probably had for a really long time. So maybe you guys can do this with me and just try to use up all of those samples that you have. If you're a YouTuber and you want to do this with me, let me know and I can tag you down below so that we can do this together and see how many of these sample sizes we can get used up in this year. Like I said, I know I have a ton of full size stuff that I'm still going to be using and integrating in but I really want to get some use out of these samples. Samples are the best way to find new products that you like and to find new products that you know you don't like before purchasing the full size item. Honestly, I love sample sizes. I actually have a video called from sample size to full size. I can link it in the cards above here. 
but basically it's items that I got in a sample size from me purchasing it or getting it in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy or Sephora and items that I purchased the full size of because I liked it so much. I feel like a lot of my purchases are products like that where I've tried it one or two times or maybe I have like a deluxe size sample that I got a lot of use out of and then I purchased the full size. So make sure to check out that video if you guys want to see a few of those that I've gotten. But yeah, let's use up some samples. Let's stop wasting our hard earned money and let's start using up some products. So like I said, if you guys are wanting to do this with me, let me know and I can link you below if you put up your intro video. And I think I'm gonna do an update every single month. I will figure it out though by January and let you guys know. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a different style video, but I'm really excited to start using up some of my items that I have and my stockpile of samples, which I'm sure will get bigger. But the new samples that I am getting in, unless it's something that I have to try out right now, I'm gonna put it aside so that I don't mix that in with the samples I already have, because the samples I already have are getting old. The new ones I'm getting in are new. See what I mean? Anyway, so unless it's something that I absolutely want and have to try, then I'll try it. But if it's something that I can put it away for later or I know I already like it or whatever, I'm just going to set it aside so it doesn't get mixed in. Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Make sure to leave me a comment below if you guys want to do this or if you're excited about this. And, and also, I'm going to make a poll right here on how many sample sizes you guys think I'm going to get finished by the end of the year. I'm going to write that number down and put it in my January video. And then I'm gonna bring that video back up in December and see how many I actually got. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyways, yeah, my excitement set aside. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss these updates on these sample pans. I'm so excited. I know I already said that, but I really am. Just saying. And make sure to ring the bell for more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!